And I'm here with Andrew Barker. We're at AirVenture 2022 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Andrew, back in uh, October of last year out in uh, Las Vegas, NBAA, got a good look at the Honeywell Anthem integrated cockpit suite. And I assume the project's been rolling along on schedule. Where are we at? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, project is moving forward really, really well. Uh, we're actively flying hardware at this point in time. Um, getting our, our core feature set really in place and really starting to experiment with some of those uh, kind of next generation optional features as well and getting those out in front of customers and potential customers and here at Oshkosh we're gathering some VOC and trying to see exactly what we want and, and where we want it. You know you look at the suite as it stands now and it looks like a big airplane integrated avionics suite with big screens, lots of big screens, lots of capability yep. and lots of features that are pretty much focused on big airplane operation. Where do you see this product potentially going for the, I don't want to say lower end of the market, but for the price conscious right. side of the market? And I'm talking anything from twin uh, pistons to single engine turboprops. Sure. Now that you've been working with the Anthem for a while, where can this thing go? Sure. So you, you kind of talked really a lot about our, our sweet spot that we're looking at there. Yes, it, it's going to be a, a very capable, very full scale product, but we're also going to really have a, a more basic version. I don't want to use the word basic, kind of like you didn't want to use the word low end, right? Um, we will have a more simple version of the product as well that really is targeted at that, that that piston twin, maybe even into some of the, the single engine pistons uh, that, that really would be a good fit for this product. So getting some of those advanced features, maybe give part of those advanced features that, that really don't make sense in a, in a true GA environment. You know, a lot of the, the BGA environment needs some things that, that you don't need in, in the rest of general aviation. So we wanna, we wanna take those features that make sense where we can add safety enhancing technologies. That's really something we're really trying to focus on with this product line is how can we get more safety and how can we help the pilot more? Things like runway incursions and landing distances and stuff like that. We wanna make sure that we are providing as much information as possible to the pilot in a way that makes sense. Where do you see challenges in getting a clean sheet system certified in a reasonable amount of time? There are certainly challenges there, right? As with any clean sheet design, um, engagement early is always best. And we have been engaging with FAA and IASA both and, and multiple other um, countries, organizations, very, very regularly saying, hey, here's, here's what we're planning, here's what we're thinking, trying to get that early feedback from them as well. We've actually done three or four different demos to different folks within the FAA here at Oshkosh already. And we've got a couple of more lined up. Again, just trying to get that that VOC, not just from the customer side, but from the regulatory side as well, yeah. to make sure that we are building a, a certifiable as well as a great system. Yeah. So AirVenture, there isn't a better place for a larger, for the biggest gathering right. of potential sales. What have you been uh, seeing for, for potential buyers showing interest in, in, in this Anthem suite here at the show? I'll, I'll honestly say everybody that, that flies it, you know, flies the, the simulator here, absolutely loves it. They'll pick out four or five features that are just, oh my gosh, I never would have thought I needed that, and now I can't imagine flying without that. So we're really trying to, try, not trying to, but we are ending up kind of setting that hook in a lot of these, a lot of these customers, and, and they will definitely be coming back. We're really excited about what's possible there. And you know, the other important part of this whole thing uh, that needs to be considered is a dealer network. Absolutely. So, what are your thoughts for bringing a pretty good sized dealer network on board to install and support the Anthem? You know, Bendix King has a, a very large dealer network already today. When we integrated my company, TrueTrack, in, uh, we brought in some more back in, some that we had lost along the way. And, and really, we're already kind of starting that communication with that dealer network and, and getting, getting feedback from those folks as well. So really trying to well, engage this, early. To be clear <laughs> though, this isn't a Bendix King product. Correct, it and is it not a Bendix King. And it won't be a Bendix King, King product. Correct. But are you, are you saying that you're gonna convert Bendix King dealerships to this new Honeywell product? We have a lot that, of dealers that are already both. 
Okay. So it, it's not a, it wouldn't be a very difficult difficult task, right, to to bring some more into the Honeywell official uh, product line. But uh, but the reality is there is so much overlap there already that we have some really wonderful partners out there that are going to be really really great at, at helping us get this installed. So you've been flying the Anthem Suite in a Pilatus, correct? If you had a crystal ball, when do you think we may be close to seeing uh, something close to being certified? Close to seeing close to something. How's that? <laughs> that's a, you know, that's a word. That's I, the way you have to that's talk the in, the FAA, in the FAA <laughs> certification class. So it is going to it is going to depend very very heavily on a couple of different things right now. Um, obviously, supply chain is something we're continuing to struggle with, just like I think everybody is. So getting supply chain built up around this product is certainly something we're trying to get in place. Um, how far we get in those early discussions with the FAA is really going to have another huge impact. Whether we end up able to do everything we want in our first TSO or whether some stuff gets pushed out. I mean, obviously, there'll be multiple TSOs along the way. So um, I, I wouldn't expect something this year, but we're certainly pushing for something in the very near future uh, to have this product out and, and really available. How many hours have you flown it? Uh, we've got well over 100 hours on it in our PC-12 right now. Uh, and continue to fly it basically almost daily. Uh, we're working right now kind of to even increase the amount of product that we have in there. We are flying that real hardware, like I said, and you know, certain candidate software at this point in time, especially on the core feature set. And a lot of what we're doing is, is experimenting with you know, exactly which features need to be in that core, core product as well. So uh, getting that out in front of our, our customers, our existing customers and our potential customers and flying them regularly and and really really making great progress on it well we'll keep following appreciate the catch up absolutely larry anglesano aviation consumer with andrew barker at honeywell watching coverage of air venture 2022 at oshkosh